So then how do we go about preventing needing to context switch, right? Because we know that it's something that's really expensive and it's something that really prevents our ability to do good work as product managers. Well, the most valuable thing to do is to actually design our days and our weeks so that, that way we are focused. That way we actually have significant time to sink our teeth into the problem and get it solved. When we set a single priority for the day, that helps us make sure that we are focusing our energies there and we're not moving in between all these different tasks. Right? And yes, just we, we do have a lot on our plates as product managers. Right? We are moving multiple metrics, we have lots of different initiatives up in the air, but it doesn't all need to get done immediately. Instead, we want to think about what's the one thing that really matters that we absolutely need to go get done today. Personally, I found it very valuable to write down my one single priority for the day on a post-it, on a sticky note, uh, something somewhere, and make sure that's visible. And so then that way I know that if I get this one thing done today, then I've succeeded. And if I don't get this one thing done today, then I fail. And really nothing else matters um, outside of this one priority. And by doing so, that's a very helpful forcing function for us to really identify what is the one thing that really matters, and then that way we can pour our time into it without worrying about, oh, well, what are the other things that we're leaving on the side? Another thing that we can do is we can consolidate all of our recurring meetings together. And so as product managers, we have lots and lots of one-on-one -on -one meetings, we have lots of group meetings, etc. Um, and so for our recurring one-on-ones, most of the time, people are pretty happy to reschedule. Them. They're, they're typically pretty happy um, to be flexible with their one-on-one -on -one time. And so where possible, try to put your different meetings together so that, that way you're not switching in and out of your deep work. Time, right? Another thing that really helps to prevent needing to context switch in the first place is to set expectations for when we're going to respond to someone's asks of us. Um, I like to call these SLAs, service level agreements, basically, when can people expect for us to acknowledge their ask and return to them? Lots of times, I think product managers assume that when we get an ask, we have to respond immediately. And that's not necessarily true. Um, many times we don't need to respond in real time. Um, the world's not gonna burn down uh, if we just take a moment. Um, and so one of the things that I've found super helpful is to give people really clear expectations on when they can expect for me to get back to them. 